Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to go over differential pairs, which is something you'll need to start doing as you move up in speed and complexity of your boards. And it's just a element of KiCad that I wanted to show you that's part of KiCad 5.0. So let's take a quick look over here at a design that we've been working on, well looking at rather, I guess this has already been done. Uh, first things first, let's take a look at, so basically I have a USB connector on the front side and I'm going to connect it to this USB to serial converter on the back side. And I'm going to try and do that. So we're going to go to to route, and then differential pair. You see it's a different item. You can't just hit X like we did before. I'm going to hit start here. And you see does it, unable to find complementary differential pair nets. Now that's important to know here. Uh, basically what's going to happen is we need to go and change the net name in order for it to, uh, to, to look different here. So I'm going to go, I think I actually already did that. Yeah, I already did that over here. But what I did is basically these were not previously uh, shown as having D plus and D minus. So I, I added those labels by adding L and then label and then added, added the label name there. And just the plus and minus works, uh, underscore P or underscore N would also work. You just need to basically tell the, tell the netlist uh, finder that it's those two pairs, those two nets need to go together. So I'm going to hit uh, what we showed in the past video and hit F8. That's going to go and update the PCB. And that's trying to put all the components that I deleted out of here. So I'll put those out of the way. Okay, and now you see that the nets themselves are listed as D plus and D minus. So I'm going to go into route, differential pair. Now we should be able to start routing. Now what you see here is that we actually don't, it doesn't start routing right away. And that's because basically it's doing math. Uh, and it's having a little bit of trouble with that. Now what we're trying to do here though, is basically we're trying to find a path where it can uh, start you know, figuring out the, uh, the the nets are evenly spaced up, uh, together and they're tuned effectively. So what I'm going to do is hit V for via, drop a via somewhere here. Now, what you see also is that sometimes stuff disappears. And I was able to drop a via, and now I'm just drawing another set of nets here. And you see that it's basically just trying to figure out, okay, how can I how can I draw these things? And then finally, landing into the pad, you see that that slight differentiation at the end there, just because they're not quite the same spacing apart. So there we go. So now we have created differential nets. Um, this is a little bit different now. So like when you go and tune things, so basically you can move these, but the idea is that if you, if you move these at all, basically they're kind of out of alignment. Basically all that work we just did is not really useful. So you want to try and not move these if you can. Uh, and that's that's kind of important. If you Later on, we can go over, uh, there's a tuning. You can tune the, the track length and tune the the skew and phase and stuff like that. This is, this is an even more advanced tool here. But the main thing is being able to, I just wanted to show that you basically need to have the net names correct and you need to have uh, you know that stuff correct as well. You need to have the, uh, the setup correct. Now if you want to change the actual thickness, you don't actually change these in the, uh, in the global settings, you actually change these in a different place. And I will point out this will be changing in KiCad 5.1, but you go to differential pair and this is actually where we set the width and the trace gap. I will note as well, I've run into problems in the past where if you don't have a sufficient gap between the, the, the trace, uh, you actually, it's tough to turn corners and basically the math all changes. And so that can be kind of difficult. So that's just something to keep in mind there. So that's just a quick look at differential pairs in KiCad. It's an important thing, especially as you start moving up in speed. I would definitely read your data sheet and see if it should be a differential pair if you need to be tuning them and have uh, uh, you know, matched impedance for two traces there. We'll have more videos like this. If you want to learn more about uh, how to do layout, uh, you can go over to contextualelectronics.com. We have a free forum, uh, forum.contextualelectronics.com. And also there's a KiCad forum if you have questions about some of the features within KiCad or you want to discuss how to do a specific thing in the software. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.